Okay. So um yeah, let's start. Okay, so this uh chapter is about the regular regular expressions, which is yeah, it's, it's something that uh seems like we need to live with it. For the learning objectives, you we will we want to learn how to manipulate um strings or character vectors with simple uh, string functions and using regular expect, um, expressions, regex, to match patterns in those strings. Use the stringer functions and regex to manipulate strings and other stringers matching rules to find specific patterns in, in, the, in strings. Um, this is the first slide, but I did. I, I I left it in because I saw it in the <laughs> in the in the in the book where I say, okay, I this person is too enthusiastic, but uh, I I'm not sure if I I'm with that same sentiment. And uh, yes, they say you can just control F and you can search for 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 um for uh, any document, but it's not for um searching like when you are interactively searching, but also you can have a better search using um, any programming code. In this uh, chapter, we'll be using mostly the Stringer package, package that's part of the tidyverse, and also the baby, na baby names. We have a list of baby names that we, that we can use. In my case, I always said to this is not in the in the in the book, but I, I added it because it was something like I struggled with why should I learn this and why what 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 is the the, the point of it and uh, where can it be useful? So I have to convince myself that uh, it's actually a, a useful thing to learn, even though everybody says it is. I had to sort of uh, convince myself of it. And for example, in Google Sheets, you if you have to find and replace, you can use uh, a regular expression. I don't see that this, I don't see the same in Excel to use the find and replace with, with regular expression, but I've seen it in uh, LibreOffice and uh, also a, a, a file explorer that I use to change file names. You can also change file names based on regular expression. In Notepad++, I've seen it. so. There's a, a, a lot of places that I've seen it, but I never used it on only a couple of times to, to change file names in a file explorer that allows uh, use of a regular expression. So one those are one of the those are the things that if you can use, if you know how to use regular expressions, you can have a better find and replace. You don't you won't be only be able to find exact matches, but you can use a regular expressions to have a um, uh, more tools to 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 find and replace in Google Sheets or other uh, software that uh, allow for regular expressions. And um, in a, another specific example for myself is I was working on a project, but that was in in, in a C language. But I had to um, check if the user entered a valid IP. So. Um, a valid IP, as you know, it has to, it's four octets and uh, they have to be numbers between zero and uh, 255, sorry. So my way of doing things and, and, and with a simple loop of with simple, like without using regex, I would get the string, the IP, and then split it by the dots. So then I would have the 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 four octets, and then if you don't have four octets, that's already a problem. So you return a false, and for each of octet, you have to check if it's equal or um, higher to zero and equal or lower than two fifty fifth. And if it doesn't return a false of any of this, it can return two. And so if you can check then for the different IPs, 
if this uh, function um, works well. And you can see it works for the first one, it returns a true. For the second one, it will fail on this one because it's a 256 in, instead of a 255. And in this one, it will return a true, but actually I think uh, it's frowned upon to use leading zeros in when, when writing uh, IP4, but that's not being checked yet. So if you really want to be um, thorough, you have to go here and also add a check to not only if it's uh, higher than zero and uh, lower than 255, but also check that if you are using, a, if it's a number, um, between uh, zero and nine, it has only to be one digit. So the octet, the length of the octet has to be one. And if it's uh, from 10 to 99, you have to um, check if it has, if it has uh, two digits. So those kind of checks, um, additional checks you have to put in, in place in here. Um, so this is the whole function to check using a, a loop or using a, not without using regex, regex, regex. And this one is an example using a regex. And here is always the problem. Whenever I see something like this, I mean, all those symbols and numbers and stuff, that's where it's go, okay. This, I can see it, I, I understand. And I, and, I, and I see, okay, I can poke at it and I can um, uh, manage it and, and modify it. But something like this, at first glance, it, it's it's like a jumble. You, you, you don't, I don't see what it is. But if you test it, and, and mind you, that is something that I, I have from ChatGPT. It's not that I that I came up with it, but there are a lot of uh, places to 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 find um useful red um regex. Um, there are libraries and uh, and test cases and use cases. So. This is something if if not for ChatGPT, you 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 will find um regex for um IPs and email address and phones and that kind of stuff online that that, that can help you out. But in this case, it's a smaller function that that that's the pro. But the con maybe is that you have to know what all this means. So and you see it 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 has the same for the IP one, it's true. IP2 is false and IP3, it's again is true. And so I asked ChatGPT also to explain each one of it, of the steps, and 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 then actually did. It tells you this character is to enter at the begin, anchor at the beginning, and this whole stuff is one single octet, and then it bring, breaks it down. How it's the 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 octet is uh is uh, a formatted, is a uh, form, sorry. So once you read it, once it's, it's spelled out this way, it can um, be a little more uh, uh, something that you can digest. But going from um, this and getting all this information is, yeah, it will take your brain, some brain, some training to 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 understand all all the all the 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 characters and and their use. So let's go step for step. Let's start for the first match. Um, the for the tools, some of the tools that we will be using. Um, the string view. It will show the the the, the elements that match, and it will um whatever is it has a match, it will uh, surround it with uh um with brackets brackets there is this tool in for our, our studio i haven't used it but I, I checked its site and it's and it look um and it looks uh interesting but i haven't actually used it but yeah apparently it's a it's a You can use it uh, to test your um your um regular expressions um in, in R Studio, and there's also a similar that's not limited to uh, um R Studio, more general one that's regexer.com. 
which is also something that you can put your expression in and put your text to test and you will see how it matches. The, the, the simplest expression that we can use for pattern, pattern matching is just use string view and just to match the, the pattern. So if we're using the, the fruit um, data frame, what we are looking for is every fruit that has the word berry in it. And you will have the result bell berry and you see it's surrounded with uh, brackets so that you see wh wh where the match occurs. Um, what we saw in the in the example pattern from the IP for, for to match the IP, there are a lot of um symbols uh and these are basically the the characters that has special meaning in in regex. As an example, so that's the dots, the plus sign, the um asterisk, and the left and. Uh, are these the brackets or the other ones? No, no, I, no I'm confused. These are, are these the brackets or are these one the brackets in English? The, the square ones are, I'm, so technically what you have highlighted is square brackets. Square and brackets. less than and greater than are sometimes called angle brackets. Okay. Okay. And uh, also the interrogation is uh, is also a meta character um so for example if we have all these strings in a a b a b d etc and we search for a with a dot that means match any character character except a new line so each of the of these strings that have a, a and another character will be matched in this case a b a e and again a b and it doesn't match the E, but the A, B is, is being matched. In this other example, if you have the fruit and you want a fruit that has an A, followed by three letters and then followed by an E, you will have A dot dot dot. It doesn't matter which character, but you have to have three characters and then, then followed by an E. So you will have apple, blackberry, etc., and it shows you where the match is. Um, the quantifiers, um, whenever you have the, a match with the quantifiers, you can control how many times a pattern can match. So if you use uh, interrogation, it's an optional. So, you, so you either you have zero match or, or one match and a plus means that you have to match at least once. And uh, asterisk is to have an optional or repeat. So it can be any number, either zero or any number of repeats. So for example, AB with the interrogation is a match with A and optionally fo followed by a B. So in this case, we have A, AB and ABB. If we test for A, B interrogation, it will uh, match for A because it's an A and optional, optionally a, a B. So in this case, only an A is also a match. A, B is a match and A, B with additional Bs is also a match because it doesn't matter if there are more Bs, it has to be at least one A, B. So there, the B is the one that is being repeated or it's the one that can be repeated, not the A. Exactly. Oh, okay. Here it was with the interrogation, so it was zero or one, but now when we use the plus, it will be at least one. So in this case, this one will not match because you don't have any B, but in this case, you will have A, B or A, B, B because you are saying at least one. But if there are more, it's also okay. So that's why this one matches too. And in the case of the asterisk, you are saying an A followed by any number of Bs, but as you can see here, it can be included in zero. So it's either A, 
one um, zero b one b two b three b whatever so in this case it will match all these one because this one if zero b one b and two b um another um another feature are the character classes to define a character class you will use uh the the square brackets and you this will match a set of characters for example if you say a b c square a, a b c d in between square brackets it will match either a a b a c or a d and if you want to invert a match you will use this one um i don't know is it called the hat um so if you have the hat a b c d it means that you match anything except A, B, C, or D. So for example, if you want to have um, uh, um, any word that contains an X and it's surrounded by vowels, you can put this, um, this class that has all the vowels, and then you have an, the X, and then you or carrots and then you have <laughs> the 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 vowels again this means that you will match any of the vowels any of the vowels with an x in between so then you will get exact example exercise exists and that kind of words and if you want a word by that has an i but surrounded by consonants instead of um, because there are less vowels, so you can do the same. Um, put the list of all the consonants, but instead of doing that, you can negate it, so to speak. So then you put the hat and then anything but. So if you have all the letters without the vowels, you, you actually have the, the, the consonant. So by doing the negation, so to speak, you will have... Um, the, the consonants. So they have the all of the consonants, the I, and the consonants. So basically the negation of the vowels. And so you get system and type and that kind those kind of words. Um alternation is like R. I'm not sure what you mean, voice, whether. Oh, I'm just um, uh, telling that uh, brackets. It's it also depends on uh, American <laughs> oh. or British English, and it's uh, it's more confusing than I actually thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, alternation, for me, it feels like the R, the, the R when you are programming. So in this case, it's you are looking for the fruits that have either the apple, a melon, or not. So, yeah, a canary melon, coconut, not a pineapple. Um, if you are looking for a repeated vowel, you have either A, A, either R, E, E, or I, I, or double O, or W, and you will get this. With string detect, you can uh, have a logical vector that is a true if the pattern match an element of the character vector and false if otherwise. And you can use it also with the filter function. So for example, if we have uh, this uh, vector with A, B, and C, and we are trying to match with any of the um, uh, vowels, we will get a true for the A and false for B, B and C. If we use the 
data frame of baby names, and you want to find the most popular names that contains a uh, lowercase x, then we can uh, filter, and then we can, in the with a string detect in the name, we can look for the x. And you will see Alexander, Alexis, all the names that has an x somewhere in the in the name. And also by using the count, we will know which is the most popular one. You can also use the, the string detect with, with summarize. So for example, if you use it with sum, you will get the number of, of observation. And if you use the mean, you will have a, a proportion of that match. One example is to, for example, uh, compute and visualize the proportion of baby names that contain an X and that's broken down by year. So you have um, baby years. So you, and the baby names, and you first you group by years and then you summarize and you create a, a proportion X by create by looking for the mean of the names with uh, with x and then you can create a plot with zero version of uh, um, the proportion and as you can see the not the names with x has been uh, increasing a lot other functions that are related to string detect are string subset that gives you character vectors containing only st only the strings that match and st string which that returns an integer vector given the positions of the strings that match. You can also use a uh, string count to get the how many matches there are in each strings. And one important thing is that uh, regex matches don't overlap. That will be, that's more um, here. When you, when you look for ABA in this string, you can say, okay, one ABA, two ABA, and three ABA, but they don't match. They, the, when you see the how it, uh, it actually counted, it's only three because it will match this one first, and then it will start after the A. So after the first match. So it will not go back and say this is a match. No, it's, it matched the ABA, the first ABA, and then it will start at that B and look for another match. So it will find only one, the second one. So the, the count will only give, uh, as a result, two matches. So that's something that you have to take into account that uh, the regex matches they don't overlap. It will always count after the first, after each match. Um, possible pitfall also when you are using working with words, um, you have to check um, because the regex is case sensitive. So depending on what you're doing, there are possible um, fixes. Either you use the and you regex, for example, you are looking for vowels. You can use all the um, the lowercase or the the uppercase, or you can use the regex with a special flag to tell them to ignore the case, or you can actually use string to lower to convert all your names to lowercase so that you don't have to worry about uh, capital letters and, and or lowercase letters. So sometimes it's, it's better if you are going to do multiple uh, operations, it's better to use string to lower once on, on, on the target, so to speak, and then to use the other uh, functions without take, having to um, worry about uh, the case. So in this case, if you are going to use the baby names, you will first do uh, convert them to, to lowercase, and then you, you can use the counts uh, for the vowels and the consonants 
with with only the lowercase uh, variants. Um, this one is interesting for separate wider regex. Um, if you have data, because yeah, it's sometimes you get you will get strings that have a lot of information in them, packed in them, and they are um constructed in some strange ways. But uh, it is what it is, and you have to deal with it, and you have to clean it or 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 um use it in in your analysis. So in this case, you have a name, you have a gender, and you have a, a year, a, an age in a, in a single string. And you have to, and you can then use a separate wider the regex to use different um, regular expressions to split the string in the, in, the, in the columns, in the data that you need. So in this case, if you have, like I said, a name, a name surrounded by um, the brackets, then separated with it by a dash, and then the gender and an underscore and an H. So in this case, so in this case, you will, the pattern would be, um, this one is to catch the first, the, the opening bracket, then you will with the name th that you actually need. So if, because you need the name, the gender and the age, you will put them um, as the, you put, you will name that expression. Yeah, that's what I put there. You will construct the, a sequence of regular expression that match each piece. And if whatever you need, you will give a name to that um, content so that you can have it in the output. So in this case, we, we want the, the name the gender and the age. So this opening bracket, we want to match it, but we but we don't need it. So we will just we don't name it. But uh, we want the name and how we can get the name. The name is anything that's uh, in this case. Um, that's with um with letters with characters from A to Z. Um, both lowercase and uppercase and you are using the plus so that you have um it doesn't matter how many letters you have <laughs> okay you get we, we can we can add that later in the <laughs> <laughs> and, and in the example. Yeah, I, I know because I left it to myself to do it at some time, so you actually spied me. But <laughs> I was but, but because I, I asked it to G, G, chat GPT and I said I I won't pass up too much to, to, to get the 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 the, the correct yes. version, but but I knew yeah. and it, it it was something that should should or could be done. There's probably like a cleaner way to do it. Um but uh this one works and i i did want to like point out that the entire crazy strings tend to be really hard to read but if you break them into pieces it can make it a lot more understandable and so that's yeah, what yeah. i was doing here um yeah. especially if you like copy that into something where it's got more room <laughs> um okay. yeah so, but this is yeah. this is actually this is actually the last part of the <laughs> With, with the comments, um, to use comments in the in the, the same way that, that you have here. Um, to use comments with, with the regular expression. Okay, but, but we'll see that uh, later on. <laughs> okay, so yes. We have then the gender, it can, so to go back over here, we have the opening bracket, we have the name that are characters, either lowercase or um, um, uppercase. Then we have the closing bracket and a dash. We don't need that, so we don't name it. We match it, but we don't name it. And therefore the gender, they are looking for just a, a character here, but I think it's 
um yeah you the the the, the maybe right now it's it's it used to be just f and m but you maybe you have n and you have uh, other letters so to to have they they just put a a, a dots to have to catch all of those but they also could use for example a a, a case where they can uh a spe a, a, a class where they can could use only the specific letters that they want but this one is like maybe a lazier or more catch all catch all of the different uh, genders that they are. And then there is a uh, underscore that you don't need and the H that can be any digit, uh, a number. And as you can see, you, here are the matches. You have the names, the gender and the, and the, and the ages. If there are problems, you can use a debug and you can use, for example, too few is equal to debug. In this case, I modified the travel and, and for example, in the first one, I deleted the H and in the second one, I added a, a at symbol. And uh, so this should break the, the, the regex and this also will break the regex because it's, it doesn't match. So when we run the same um, expression, it will give you a warning if you are using the, the debug mode. And here you will see where it fails. For example, in the first case, like we said, we will match the, the name because we have the opening bracket and the closing bracket. We will match the name, we will match the gender, but we will not match a year. And here you can see that it matched the name the gender, but the 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 age, sorry, is is not available, and because you have the debug, because you have the debug, um, it will tell you where it it failed. It it will tell you that it failed, and it will tell you give you the remainder. But in this case, it, it failed at the end, so the remainder is 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 empty. For the second case where I added a, a, a add symbol, it will get the name, but it will not match this because this add symbol is added. So it will fail already on the second. So you will have the name in this case. You match the name, but then you won't get the, the, the gender or the age. And it that will tell you false and it will tell you the remainder so that you can see it it, it, it it fails it started to fail here about so using the the string debug or the too few and and debug option will tell you um, where um the the separate rider is is is, uh, is failing um now we will go some some pattern details and you will have um, escaping. So there are options to escape so that you can met, match meta characters that would otherwise be treated especially. You have to anchor to match a start or the end of a string. You have character classes. We already saw, saw some of those, but here we will introduce also some shortcuts to match any ca character from a set. Um, the quantifiers, we also already saw some quantifiers. This will control how many times a pattern can match. Um, the operator precedence of and parentheses. It's like the PEMDAS when you use in math, but uh, you have something similar here in with, with the regex. And also you can uh, group some components of the of the in the pattern. I'm Here I'm repeating all the meta characters. All these characters have can have a special meaning. So if you want to, they can have a special meaning in the regular expression. So if you want to use them for their literal meaning, or you can match one of one of them, so to speak, you will have to escape them with the backslash. So 
but the thing is that you use a string to to represent a regex and you also use uh the backlash in the in the in the in the string uh, as escape symbol so for example if you want to escape the the dot the character dot you will have to use to string to backslash sorry because otherwise so one is because the because you want to um escape the dot and the other is because the, es the escape symbol is the same it's already uh, the escape symbol in the in the string so you have then you have to use a double escape it sounds confusing but uh <laughs> Again, it is what it is. <laughs> so if you have to do the dot, um, you have to put the double backs backslash, but when you actually view it, you will see it's only one backslash, backslash, backslash. So if you are going to look explicitly um, for a dot in, in a string, so in this case, you have ABC, A dot C, and B E F, and then your uh, matching pattern pattern is uh, A um, dot C. It will match the A dot C. But remember, if you don't put, if you put here just A dot C, um, it will think you will say you are looking for any um, character. So it would should have it would have matched also with the B and with the with the dot but now that you want to match the actual dot so this is you want to um have the literal value of the dot here you have to escape it with a double um backslash um a backslash backslash dot c so that you can get this match Yeah, exactly. And rosterings is also um well uh, are also oh. no. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's um, but yeah. If you have if you have to look, yeah, these are the things that you have to take in account, but I think there's some some I don't know, advice or or whatever. If you have to work I personally, if I'm going to work with strings, with have that kind of uh, I um a lot of characters, strange characters, I tend to just replace them for something that won't interfere. So if for some reason I have uh backslashes in in a, in a string that I need to work with, I will probably replace them for some character that that don't uh, give that much problem. But anyway, if you can, if you cannot do that, and you have to use uh, strings which have uh, the literal uh, backslash in it, then you have the the this. It's not a big problem, but you have to take it in account. So, because it's an escape character for both the strings and and regexes, for a single um, um, backslash that you want to escape, you will have to put four backslashes that's kind of but that, that's it so for example if you have this string and when you view it you will see it's only one because in the string it's it's been being escaped and now you want to have to check if an if x has a, a backslash to do that in the regular expression, the string for the pattern of the regular expression, you will have to use four um, backslashes, backslashes to, to get the match. I'm quite sure that one from X, that's one where you have to save the world using regular expression, not that one? No, it's... <laughs> Specifically for backslashes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I, I, I'm quite. <laughs> yes. I, I think there is another one, 
<laughs> where you have to be a superhero and you have to save the world <laughs> by using the regular, you have to diffuse a bomb. Yes. By using a regular expression without looking it up. Um, so yeah, that's the deal with the, uh, if you are if a string with a digital backslash. Um, like John says, you can use the raw strings that was explained in the previous um, chapter uh, about strings, but you can either use with, with curly brackets or with the uh, square brackets uh, <laughs> that was added with the, with the copy pasting. This one are just parentheses. So you can use parentheses, um, brackets or curly brackets to use uh, raw strings. I will have to fix this. Um, <laughs> Or you can also use the, the character classes. So if you have to use uh, a dot or a dollar or a pipe or whatever, you can use them, match them with the with, with the square brackets. Curly braces, yes. Um so you have uh, curly braces. It does match because then in this case you don't need to um um do a double uh, escape but you can escape and by using the raw the raw string um and then in this case in this example if you have a b c a dot c a asterisk c and a space c if you want to actually look for dot to match this one then you can use the the character set um or the class with a with a dot the same with the the asterisk and in this case you can see you are looking for dot so anything and the letter x um asterisk so you are matching this one because you are looking for anything so that's the a and then exactly the the asterisk this one and then finishing with the c Is it not called a pipe? Yeah, that's a pipe. Yeah. Which is confusing in R because ah, that's... A R exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's 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 a pipe in uh and yeah because I know it in pi and C language and other yeah exactly in R. I guess I should have said uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but the character yeah. it's it's <laughs> called a pipe. It's pipe yeah. pipe or pipe. Pipe, pipe, pipe. <laughs> yes. So we saw already something about the character classes, but um, just a refresher. You can you you define them with a. Uh, we're getting there. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, you define them using the the square brackets, like we said, A B C, or carrot or hat A B C. This one matches A, B, or C, and this one, anything except A, B, or C. And you can also use a dash to define a range. So A dash Z matches any lowercase letter, and zero dash nine matches any number. And if you have, uh, and you, if you want to escape a special character in the class, then you can use the, the, the backslash. So for example, backslash carrot, backslash dash, and backslash with closing bracket. Um, here are the examples. You have this string, A, B, C, D, lower and, and uppercase numbers and symbols. So if you match for anything that has A, B, C, you will match this. If you match it anything for with a num with a, a to Z, you will match this one. Um, if you look for anything that's not a, a character or a number, anything that's not a lower case character or a number, you will match the spaces, the um, capital letters, the other spaces, you will not match the numbers, and then you will match again the spaces, 
and all the symbols. If you need to match, uh, if you, for example, if you have the string a dash b dash c, if you use a c a dash c, you will match the a, the b, or the c because you are using the it without escaping it. It's using it as the special meaning. But if you want to actually match the the dash, you have to escape it. And if you escape it, you will match the a, the dash, the b. You will not match the b because it's not in the range because it's not in, in, in this class. In this class, you are actually matching an A, a dash, or a C. So here you see an A, the dashes, and a C. You will not match the B. And uh, there are some commonly used um, character classes. So they have um, their own shortcut. We also we already saw um, the dot that matches any um, character apart from a from a new line. We have lowercase d that matches any digit. We have um, uppercase d that matches anything that isn't a digit. Lowercase s matches any white space. Um, um, uppercase s anything that isn't a white space. Lowercase w for any word but that is actually uh, anything that's a, a group of characters um, with letters and numbers and uppercase U. Ah, exactly, it was star, not, not regex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And W that matches a non-word uh, character. Um, I had known about the lowercase versions of these for a long time, but I didn't know the uppercase. And it it's it's nice that there is that pattern of, you know, uppercase is the opposite. So okay, you can match a digit with slash d. You can match not a digit <laughs> with slash capital D. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> so using the same string again as an example. Um, in this case, we are looking for anything that's a, that's a digit. So here's the match. Um, anything that's not a digit, so it will match uh, all of this, including this, this the white space. So it will go from A till the white space, the, the space. It will not match the digits, and then it will match again everything that's not a digit. This one is to match any white spaces. Here are all the spaces. This one is to match anything that's not a white space. It will so this one. If you have a yeah, if you have a, a space separated uh, value or a tab separated value file, this one could be used to uh, um to do the match. And this one is grouping the words whatever is um, characters that are grouped together. So A, B, C, D are numbers, but it will not match with uh, um, the sum symbols. And with the opposite, it will match the white spaces because that's not a word and that's not uh, any of the characters. And then it will match this last part starting with the space because it's anything that's not an actual word or, or a group of characters and numbers. With the quantifiers, we already saw the, the, these cases where uh, interrogation is for a zero or one match, where the plus is one or more matches, and where the um, asterisk is zero or more matches. But if you want to specify a specific, the, the, the exact number, you can use the, the curly braces. And in this case, if you use only N, it match exactly N times and um, comma and open, it will match at least n times and n comma m, it will match between n and m times. So in this case, you can use, instead of using these quantifiers, you can also say how many times exactly you want to match, which this one is something that's used in the, in the one that we saw for the IP and the reject for the IP. So, we are picking up the, the, the pieces so that we can go back to that one and see, okay, I've 
kind of uh, understand what's written there. With the presentes and uh, parentheses, um, I I mean, I didn't see, the only thing that I, that I saw is that the quantifiers are higher precedence and the alternation has a low precedence. So they mentioned the PEMDAS, but with PEMDAS, there are a lot of the, there's a parentheses and what well, the multiplication, division and, and all that. But in this case, from what I understand or what you can see, you only have to look for the quantifiers and the alternation. So, but they also say that you can use the parentheses, parentheses to either over, override the visual order and or you can use it to, to improve legibility. So for example, if you have A, B plus, and if you are not sure what it is, um, in this case, it, it is actually A and B plus. So it is an A followed by one or more um, Bs, but if you want to make it clearer that that's what you mean, you can use the parentheses to, to do that. But you will see that the parentheses is also used for another thing. So maybe it pays to know the precedence and the, the and, and, and leave the parentheses for, for the other use. So in this case, if you have AB plus, it, it actually means A, B plus, which means A followed by one of your Bs. And if you get um the hat A and the alternation and the B and the dollar sign, so you have the anchors, but what are you anchoring? In this case, you are anchoring, an, a, it's a string that uh, the anchoring at the start, the A, or you anchor at the finish of B. So basically it's a string that starts with an A or a string that's ending with a B. But like I said, you can also use the parentheses to, to create capturing groups. And what they mean with this is, for example, you can, let's see this example. You look are looking for a fruit and you are looking for dots, dots. So that's any character. But now you'll see, okay, I want to, the, the thing that I matched here, I want to reuse it. But you can put dot, dot, and then dot, dot again. No, you have to refer back what that what you matched. And that's what you're doing here with the with the one slash one. So in this case, when you have the fruit, you are matching the a n, and because it's it, it's there, it's uh, um following directly. You have another a n. Same with coco with coconut. So you you are matching the c o, and then the c o again. So what you're doing is you are getting a match with whatever two characters because of dot dot and then because of the slash um, one, you are going back, you are matching, I'm um, doing that exact match again. As another example, here you have the anchor and you are looking for um, a, a, a um, two characters again. So I'm looking for a match and starting with the, with two characters and then anything with the dot and uh, the asterisk, you are looking for, for uh, any number of characters. And then at the end, you are anchoring the, the first um, parenthesis, the first match that you have, which is this one. What does that mean? So you have a church, church. So you are matching the, the CH. It's this part. And then you reflect back and you get this one. The, 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 at the end, you have also a church, the, the CH. The same with the site, photograph, et cetera, et cetera. This, uh, this thing was something that I didn't well, that I was seeing in, 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 in some of the online magic things that I didn't understand, but now I at least understand it. So now I try to, I'll have to try to start to use it somewhere.
Also, you can use the, uh, those back references. You can use them, for example, with string replace. Um, in this case, for example, we are using, again, the parentheses, and we are looking for words, um, the special uh, class that's looking for word. But what we are doing is we are getting um, the first one, and then we are getting, we, we are swapping this, the, the, we are putting the, the third one and with the second one, we're flipping the, we were flipping it. So the original um, sentence was the birch canoe slid, but because you are um, flipping them, swapping them, you now get canoe birch. So what you're doing is you're matching the three words, the three first words, but then you are using the replace to um, swap the second and the third one. Uh, another thing, um, for example, when you have to use the English and the American spelling of great, you have either, either an A or an E. Then you can use, um, you want to match the gray, but with an E or with an A. So you can use a, a parenthesis and, a, and use it with an A or an E. If you do that with a match, it will give you a, a, a matrix with the matching word and where it matched with what with um with the character that it matched with with either a or either e if you don't need the second column you can then use uh this construct which that's 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 the thing with, with the regular expression the same um characters depending on how you where you use them or when where you put them can have um different meanings so now you are using again the interrogation mark and and the um that's the semicolon the two dots if you do that if you use those you will have you will receive only the um the matches but not the column with the character that you matched up it's a that's a colon by the a way a colon that's a colon yeah. sorry The flex, the, these flex I'll also use, um, uh, these are for the stringer functions, stringer functions, they are used in, in R. Um, for example, you can use uh, ignore case. So instead of using a string to lower to change it, um, your, your strings to lower case, you can also use a flag to ignore case true. So, in this case, if you use bananas and you compare with banana, it will only match the first one. But if you use the ignore case with true, it will match any of those. You have also the dot all and the multi-line um, flex. Um, that those are strings that um, when you are working with multi-line um, strings, so they have uh, the the um, new line um, new line character at the end. Then you can you, for example, you know that dot dot the dot matches anything, excluding the end. But if you use dot all is true, the um, dot will match everything, including the new line character. So in this case, you have uh, the new line character here, and you are looking for dot line. When you look for dot line and you put dot line is true, it will match the new line character that's here. It will match the new line character. And also when you have multi-line is true, it will make that the the, the the anchors the, the hat and the dollar sign that anchors at the start and at the end of, of each line it will if you use multi-line through it will have it for each string instead of when you instead of the complete string string so in this case you have this whole string but it has um 
new lines in it. So if you use um, without um, the multi-line, it will only match this one, the line at the beginning. But if you do it with multi-line is true, it will find all the line, all the, the lines that start with a, with a, with the word line. And this one is with the comments. That's what John also mentioned. Um, that you can put comments in the in the if when you break down the the the, the pattern, and then you can um, use comments to to help you along. So in this case, if you use the flag comments is true, you can put comments and put it after any comment after the, the hashtag. Um, if you are using comments and you want to use a space, new line or, or a hashtag, you will need to escape it. As an example, if you want to match a, a phone number, you can see you can use, a, and we are using a, a, a rostering over here. And then you use this, uh, um, we want to have a, an optional, an, an opening parenthesis, and you have to escape it. And then you have uh, uh, the interrogation is to make it optional. And then you have the area code. It has to be, the quant this is the quantifier, so it has to be three digits. And here you are saying you have um, digits. And with the quantifier, you're saying it's three digits. And then it's optional to have a uh, Closing parent or a dash. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. So in your case, you're using without uh, using this one, but you are using something. Yeah, because I was it's only one. Just... It, 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 uh -huh. Yeah, I was just doing separate strings and then pasting them together. Uh, uh -huh. But okay. this is this is much better. This is good to know about. It's one okay. of those that I I'm sure I have like uh, read over it many times and never mm -hmm. noticed. So okay. good to know. Yes. So in this case, you have you can use. Um, yeah. So you have um, different parts. You are constructing constructing your um regex and oh in your case you are using different thing and pasting together exactly and in this case yep. you are not pasting together it's just, you are just using white space because there's no comma in here or something separating yep. just using uh comments to to create uh the whole string um and once you have created your regex you can then use it to and test it with with some phone numbers. And in this case, it will fail on the last one because it doesn't comply with the other ones. Um, seems to do okay. And finally, with the uh, fixed matches, um, I'm not sure that I, I got it quite right what, what's your, what we want to do here, but it's, uh, you can, when you use fix, you are allowed to, you, it allows you to opt out of the regular expression rules or to ignore case as if. So in this case, you are looking for fixed for dots. So I think what this is saying, basically is saying is, um, I want to, I don't want you to treat this as a special character, but just use it as, as, a, as, the, as the dot character. So in this case, it will, instead of looking for an, any character, it will look specifically for the for the dot. So that's why it's matching only the dot. And the same thing, if you have here um, the lowercase x and the uppercase x, it will match the uppercase x, but if you use fixed and then and you tell them ignore case, um, it will match any of them. I'm not sure what the use of this is, but from fixed is the... basically just like it automatically escapes everything. Okay. So it's if you want to match just literal text, you don't want okay. to mess around with regex. Okay. 
And there's a, an additional thing here that if you are working with non-English text, instead of using fix, you should use fall because uh, the rules of capitalization can be varying for the, um, depending on the locale. That's what something that we saw in the, in the previous chapter too. So in this case, if you use fix um, and ignore case, it will fail because it will fail of this one. But if you use um, the call, it will actually use the locale. So it will know which locale to use and it will actually um, match the two, I think those are eyes, special eyes. I don't know what 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 letters those are, but yeah, it will make, match the, the special eyes in that uh, <laughs> specific uh, locale. Um, and the last thing, I didn't work it completely on because that's something I think that you have to go through you, yourself, um, that part of the chapter, the, the practice. and But the general techniques is whenever we have to do this, create some simple positive and negative controls. So if you, for example, for the IPs, if you know some IPs that uh, will break the 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 your 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 pattern your regex put some of those and then check against them and the way you have uh, more um positive and negative controls you can test and then you can be some somehow certain that your regex will will um work when it's out there and you also can combine a regular expression with boolean algebra and sometimes it's better instead of doing one huge regex to solve the complete problem. Maybe you can solve it by parts and then uh, join the parts by using <laughs> ands and ors and, or, or other um, Boolean algebra. And sometimes you can um, the, use a string manipulation also to create some of the complex uh, patterns. So yeah, that's it. And once that's done, special. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I I hope that with this, when you when we go back to this one, we will see now see this and have a little less fear of what it is and what it means. <laughs> so. Uh, the first time I saw it, the first time I asked, that was last week. I, I the first I, I asked ChatGPT to give me both. This one when when I saw it, I said, ah, okay, of course, that's it. Yeah, of course, that's <laughs> that's obvious. When I saw this one, I said, okay. But now that I see it, it I, I'm not saying that I, I, I can read it fluently, <laughs> but I can identify part of it. And more if I look at this explanation, I say, yeah, it's it's yeah, I I I, I can make sense out of it. So I hope you're there too, Gabby. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, speaking of Reg Explained. Yeah, so things are up here. I think I'm gonna have to watch the thing again. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's, there's the package that I just linked. Uh, I haven't used this, but Carrick's good at what he does. So it's probably helpful. Um, we're helping to Understand. I've been playing with the one you sent before, so that one is really good. Like it gives you like a puzzle that you have to solve. That one was. Oh really yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. That, that is okay. why I most like somewhat know uh, regex now is because I did those puzzles a long time ago, um, and yeah, the crossword one too is pretty cool. So very cool. Um, it's it's one of those things where occasionally yeah, it's, it's super super useful, especially now that they have the separate wider regex, that can be really like really helpful. Yes. So for me, it's what I had. Um, any other question? Hope not because Maybe. I'm not I'm not an <laughs> expert, <laughs> but I hope we will get there eventually. 
I mean, it, things are more clear for me, but I'm going to have to watch the presentation again. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, it was fun, uh, really, really fun. <laughs> so it was fun. Okay, maybe. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. A hundred percent. The start was true. <laughs> I got sent down several rabbit holes. I learned that a parenthesis was originally the thing inside of the parentheses. So the phrase that's in, in between them is a parenthesis. That's where the word okay. came from. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Learned all kinds of things today. All right. Well, I will see everyone yep. on, yep, on yep, yep. Slack. Uh, Gabby, you have factors next week. Um, I look oh, do I? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I pointed it out. <laughs> All right. All right. I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you, Nelson. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.